Okay, I'm uh, going to do a screen recording of this because I tried to do this on Adobe Connect last week and ran into some technical difficulties. So, this is a quick way to get started with Qualtrics. First, go to qualtrics.usu.edu and you'll notice that you log in here. It uh, automatically logged me in, but you, everybody has an account if you have an A number and your strong password. So just log in there, and this is your screen. Uh, I've got a bunch of surveys here, but yours will be empty, no doubt. And just say, create a survey. Pretty easy. And you can copy uh, somebody else's survey if you want, or they have survey library. I just generally use the Quick Survey Builder. Click that on. Create survey. Okay, and so this is the page you get. And um, if you've been using SurveyMonkey or some other ones, you'll get to here and you'll say, oh my gosh, where is everything? Uh, you have to start with create a new question, and then you get uh, this menu over here. It's got most of the common types of questions, multiple choice, single answers, and so they have this kind of fuzzy logic and it say that you probably want to do a multiple choice so you just click on that for your question use this is fun to use and if you put in yes then it automatically figures that if you start with yes that you're going to want to have no so it puts that in there but you can add more choices if you don't want just yes and no by going over here choices multiple add one and it's gonna guess what I was gonna put in there maybe and then you can actually nothing definitely not probably not see it likes to kind of guess what you want to put in there but if I keep going it's gonna run out There you have it. So let's just say, let's just do one question here. But you've got all kinds of questions you can do. If you just want a descriptive text, uh, stop showing me this. Uh, you know, matrix table, and when you uh, mouse over it, it gives you some examples. Enter multiple choice, text entry. And text entry is a sort of an essay question, so you can have it one line, or you can do a essay, which gives you a big box, so people can write forever in there. And so, this other types of questions. Uh, it's got some funny ones like hotspot, so uh, you could put in a a uh, picture of an ad or something, and people would could mouse over it and you could ask them which parts of this do you like or dislike. I haven't found that tremendously useful but it's kind of nice to know that it's there. But okay, rank order, you can do some fancy uh, rank order ones, you can do a drop and drag graphics. So you can say people, alright so you can keep adding questions, you just add a question, add a question, and then you also, it also has uh, graphics built in, so let's see, if I want to add a graphic up here, say collect a graphic question, in my library I have all my logos in the library, you can have uh, upload your own. So, oh, but my gosh, I, I, my, I want my graphic at the top, not here at the bottom, so you just 
rearrange things by going use the up and down arrows so now I have my graphic at the top and it's automatically saving everything as you go don't have to really worry about pausing and, and saving so let's just keep it simple here and let's preview the survey this will help you see exactly how it works in real life and it's got a nice added feature they just put in this year it shows you what it would look like on a uh, mobile device and I can show you see the uh, drop and drag thing you can't actually see that unless you go into the preview it helps you like rank things you can keep you can change them around click to make sure they work gives you a little generic thank you thing okay so that was the preview so I like it what else do I want to do well I want my spell check that's useful looks like no spelling errors and I previewed I spell checked what do I want to do now I want to launch the survey and survey is active activate your survey to collect responses and just like SurveyMonkey and other survey software get a link to send to people okay that's the basic stuff